What types of loss does the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund compensate? Once the VCF confirms that you have met the eligibility criteria, it will review your compensation information. The two main categories of loss compensated by the VCF are economic loss and non-economic loss. Non-economic loss, often referred to as pain and suffering, is determined based on the nature and severity of your conditions and the effect of the conditions on your activities of daily living. It does not take into account economic loss caused by the condition, and it is not based on the number of conditions for which you are certified. Claims seeking only non-economic loss are the simplest and fastest to review. The second type of loss, economic loss, includes compensation for earnings or benefits that you lost because you could not work as a result of your eligible condition. In appropriate cases, it can also include past out-of-pocket medical expenses, replacement services loss, or burial or memorial expenses. Loss of earnings or benefits must be based on an inability to work due to a 9-11 related physical disability, and in most cases, is based on a finding by a third party, such as your employer or the Social Security Administration, that you were disabled as a result of your 9-11 related physical health condition. Each award is calculated individually. As required by the law governing the VCF, your final award will be calculated using this basic formula. Non-economic loss plus economic loss minus collateral offsets. Collateral offsets are compensation from other sources that you received or became entitled to receive as a result of your eligible injury and must be subtracted from the VCF award. Examples include Social Security benefits, disability pensions, and life insurance. 